Hey everyone, Sean Tierney here from theautomationschool.com. Are you having problems opening up applications in Factory Talk View Site Edition or Machine Edition and maybe getting errors like uh, Factory Talk View can't connect to an add-in object referencing maybe the activity bar or an object handler or maybe Factory Talk View just stops working and you get an error message saying that, uh, that it's not responsive. Well, if you are, I may have the solution for you. It may be caused by a Windows update that came out earlier this year, and I'll show you how to find out if that's the case and how to resolve that in today's video. So let's go ahead and head over to the computer. Now on my Windows 10 PC, when I look at the installed updates, one particular update is causing my issue. It's patch 405-6892. Now, how did I know that? Well, the first step to find out if there's a Windows patch affecting your Rockwell software on your machine is to go to this uh, Rockwell Techno, and I'll put a link on the screen to it. And this shows you which patches are known or updates are known to cause problems with Rockwell software and what the solutions are from Microsoft. So here you can see, in my case, where I'm running Windows 10, I'm going to need update 405-8258 to... Uh, fix my system. Now, unfortunately, my system hasn't received that update yet. So I'm going to use the link in this tech note to actually uh, install it right from the Microsoft Update Catalog. Now, it's going to take a while to download it, to install it, and then to reboot my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward the video here. Okay, I downloaded and installed the update, then I rebooted my PC, then I reopened the software, and you can see here, no more problems, no more error messages, everything is working just like it should. Now, if you found this video helpful, please consider giving me a like and a thumbs up. And if you have any questions about what I did today or something else, please feel free to post them over at my free forum, theautomationforums.com. Now, if you want to support my work, you can do so by pledging $1 over at patreon.com forward slash automation, or by taking one of my easy to follow self-paced training courses over at theautomationschool.com. Well, that's it for this video. Until next time, peace.